like I've just gone, I've gone, peer review, putting it in a module page, putting it into a page, putting it into a table, assignment, teacher feedback, peer feedback, all that is super dope. We haven't even touched on studio quizzes. One of my faves then, the next element I wanna show you is, is um, the ability to take a, a video and from that video, you can actually turn it into a quiz. So uh, actually, let me show you what this looks like from a student first, because I, I think it'll make more sense. So here I have a video, uh, video with quiz questions. So I went ahead and created a studio video where the students are then given this uh, link. You can see it's a quiz. I don't have results yet because I am a student and I haven't taken this. So Ellie's gonna go ahead and get started on this quiz question uh, or this quiz, uh, this video quiz. And uh, Hayden and I are talking about Arc Beta and we've populated this quiz, this video with some questions. So now Ellie needs to go through and watch this. What are we learning about here? We're learning about uh, uh, Arc quiz quizzing. Okay, let's continue. When I, hit, when I hit the answer and hit continue, the video then continues to play until the next question. You can see where my questions are. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. It pauses. And now I have a true false question. This is beta in, uh, as of March 13th. I think the answer was true. So then I continue to watch. And my third question is a multiple uh, checkbox uh, for our quizzing. You could use this to, to write papers or for formative feedback. I don't know, maybe it's both. And I hit continue and now it is done. And when I'm ready to submit, I submit that quiz. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna record the results. It's gonna provide the correct or incorrect answers for me, right? And um, it's gonna take that result and populate that in my gradebook. So that's what's pretty cool about this. Video with quiz questions, the scores get populated right into my uh, gradebook. Here it is right here, video with quiz questions, seven and a half, out of 10. So, um, so watching a video as a teacher, let's look at what that looks like. And I need to go back to that video. Let's go to the module page real quick. I'm gonna open studio up. There we go. And I go to submit a video. Sorry, it's the previous one. I go to the video with quiz questions, which is here. It's already been set up and I'll show you how to do that. But um, but here are the uh, quiz results that I can see. Um, and I can check out the student results right here. And, and uh, for all my kids that have taken it, it will show me each one of those results. Or you can get an item analysis once you have multiple resor results go going in. Um, so that's pretty awesome. It's kind of like Edpuzzle, but what's rad is it goes right into your, um, into your grade book and, um, and uh, populates those scores you can see right here into your your speed grader so pretty awesome let me show you how you set up a video quiz the first thing you have to do is you actually set it up through the studio global navigation here so you need to make sure your video is um is already set up through global navigation which uh, i have right here and um and so once you have a video you can then turn it into a quiz by clicking the three dots and saying create quiz from here you give it a title find the center of mass uh, and a description. Can you find the center of mass? Um, and you can choose to hide the question markers in the timeline so kids don't know when and where those questions are gonna pop up. I'm gonna leave it off for now and let them see it. So then as you watch the uh, video, you can then click this little plus button. You see that little plus button? You click that little plus button and it gives you three options, multiple choice, true, false, or multiple answer. Right now, those are the only three you get. So what, you know, what happens next? The board falls, right? Uh, the board is balanced. And so they have, uh, they have multiple options. You can add additional options if you need more uh, than what you want. You can vary the points. So if they answer the first one, they get one point. If they answer the second one, 
you know, they get two points and they get one point if they answer that. So you have lots of options, other option, right? And zero points for that one. So that's pretty neat. You can shuffle the choices just so it's just out of order, right? Um, or lock the order that they're in. Um, you can then uh, provide additional feedback here. So if they get it correct or incorrect, uh, or just general feedback, regardless whether they got it correct or not, you could provide additional feedback there. This is much like the options you have when you create a normal quiz question. And then you hit save. And you notice it places a marker, boom, right there in the body of that. So when I'm all done, I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. You'll notice that this has a little icon now of center of mass with a little icon showing me that it is a, there's an option to use it for a quiz. So I'll go back into my modules in my demo course as a teacher. I go ahead and hit new assignment and I'm gonna give it a new assignment. Sent, I'll just call it center of mass uh, video quiz and go in into that assignment and when I edit this assignment, right? So this is the assignment that I want. I want to choose, let's go ahead and give it 10 points. I wanna choose the submission type as external tool. So here's the secret on making it a video quiz. Choose external tool, click find and find studio, which is down here at the bottom. Boom. Now that I have studio loading, come on now internet. I probably have, I got four kids at home, so I probably have a couple on Zoom and, and you know, we're all sharing the same network. So now when I find that, I look for the one with the little uh, quiz icon and I can select it. And instead of doing a standard embed, you now have this video embed quiz option. And if you've created multiple versions of it, then you have, or if it's in different courses, then you have, you can choose the, the, the quiz that you'd like. You hit embed um, and hit select. Choose a due date, I like due dates, and hit save and publish. Now I have that studio quiz for center of mass ready to go for my students. I'll go ahead and swipe over to my students in my modules page and on their homepage, they should see this new center of mass video quiz. And so maybe I use this just as a way to check um, that my, my students are able to watch the video get the video and have a basic understanding of the video, the board falls. Continue. Done, submit my quiz. So now Carter, Carter, here's his results, right? So now Carter has completed that, two out of two, boo yeah, and he'll see that in the grades. And under speed grader, you'll see that Carter should have, I may need to refresh, should have um, his, his grades, come on, populate over here, uh, submitted in just a moment. So that's a quick, that's a quick um, um, way to use studio quizzing and increase the interactivity of your videos and of your lessons because uh, you have that, you have that uh, video quiz going on. So I'll take a quick pause there. Any questions popping up? I'm not seeing any, Brad. Awesome. We're good. Okay, so um, that's pretty intense. For first, guys, I, like I need to pause for a second because that that that's pretty intense. What what I just threw at you, um, studio assignments, uh, embedding those assignments in the like the instructions, using the comment uh, as part of the studio, so the kid actually submits the video to you rather than you making the video and them commenting on it. It's they make the video, you comment on it, or if you get real crazy, right, using the peer review option to let students comment on other students' submissions. Like, you know, that's like, that, that's a whole bunch of wins there and can take a lot of time to sort of master those skills. I don't, uh, I don't wish for you to go back and tr try to do all of these out of the gates. I don't. I think start, start small, start with the first one, start by just creating video instructions and embedding those into your, into your um, pages, okay? So start there, and then you can move to where you make an assignment where the kids are submitting a video back to you so you can provide feedback to them. And maybe at the very end, if you're feeling like crazy awesome and you got this, then you can try the, the, the peer review where students submit and then the, 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 the other students are, are giving 
uh, uh, feedback through that through that.